For years, conservatives have challenged the Obama administration to do its job and deport aliens who remain here illegally. By U.S. government standards, the latest crackdown has been fairly quick, coming just six months after their capture. 27 members of this unprotected minority group were singled out for exile, and 15 of them are expecting enforcement of the deportation orders in coming weeks. So who exactly are these dangerous individuals whose continued presence might be seen as a threat to our republic? Could it be Mexican gang members, Middle Eastern terrorists, Chinese spies? No, the fearsome refugee group singled out for immediate deportation by the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency is Iraqi Christians. Not that this comes as a complete surprise from an administration hell-bent on destroying America's Christian underpinnings and replacing them with the five pillars of Islam. However, the ideological motivations behind this crackdown on Christianity may leave our president with more innocent blood on his hands. The chances are high that the Iraqi Christian refugees being flown back to Europe will not be allowed to remain there either. And should they be sent back to Iraq, their fates will be all but sealed. They are walking dead men, women, and children. If the term political asylum ever deserved application, it would be for these tormented victims. Iraqi Christians have seen family members and friends assaulted, raped, and even killed by cruel Muslim terrorists. Females have been sold into sex slavery, their homes and property have been stolen, and they became the victims of ongoing Islamic abuse when seeking protection in Iraqi refugee camps. Meanwhile, Chaldean family members of those singled out for deportation have been warned by officials not to comment on the decisions lest they too become targets of the government. The threats are not empty ones. Already the leading legal team defending Chaldean Christians has been targeted by the Obama Justice Department which filed immigration fraud charges against Glenview, Illinois attorney Robert DiColeta. His case is awaiting trial. But DiColeta continues the fight to protect his Iraqi brothers and sisters against the age-old Islamic ultimatum, convert to Islam, pay a tax of submission to Islam, or die. Further information about Robert D. Kaleda and the current Christian immigrant crisis is available at deklaw.com.